how to make Jamaican fried dumplings in your kitchen for the first time. For beginners, let me show you how. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. Rastafari. Why you turn your back on your brother when him need you? You don't remember the days I'm when him feed you. You know when no obligation, but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him one if you get turn your back on your brother when him need you. Okay, goody. Eh? Requested recipe here. All to make fried dumpling in your kitchen for the very first time. This recipe is mostly for beginners. Now, if you know how to make a perfect fried dumpling, this is not the recipe for you for watch. All right, keep it moving to the next. Now, if you're watching me cooking for the very first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Turn your notification settings on so you will be reminded anytime I upload a new video. Now, welcome to your girl, how to cook. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make fried dumpling in your kitchen, fast, easy, and simple for the very, very first time. A few simple ingredients, right? Let's go over it, nice and simple. Now, let's talk about what you're gonna need to make this thing a real easy and simple in your kitchen for the very first time. You're going to need one cup of all-purpose flour. Then to that, you're gonna need one cup of self-rising flour. In addition to that, you're going to need one tablespoon of butter. Then you're gonna need one tablespoon of sugar. Now, the sugar is optional, but may I tell you, say, if you put the granulated sugar in your thing, it's going to be massive. Remember, I tell you, if you're the professional, then go ahead and take it out, all right? I saw the thing set. Now, you're going to need a half a teaspoon of salt to flavor up the flour mixture. Then, you also are going to need cold ice water. Now, usually when I'm making fried dumpling, I always use cold milk. I love the flavor of the milk into the flour. But for your very first time, you are going to go with water. Now, into that water mixture, I have some cubes of ice because I want the thing to really, really cold because that's how you're going to have the best fried dumpling in your kitchen ever. So, let's get all of this together, all right? Now, let's start cooking, right? Mm-hmm in my kitchen now you're going to add your one cup of all-purpose flour and then you're going to add your one cup of self-rising flour salt granulated sugar and cold butter now with clean hands you want to go ahead and break that up that butter right there broke it up After it looks pretty much like that, you're going to start adding your cold water, icy cold water in it. One, two, three. So you start off with three tablespoons of ice cold water. Four, five, and six so right there you have six tablespoons of icy cold water seven eight and nine so all together there you have nine tablespoons of icy cold water As you can see, the dough is starting to form really nicely. Then you add another tablespoon. And knead it real good. Now, when it forms and it looks pretty much like that, you're gonna go ahead in the palm of your hand, add a little bit of oil to it, any kind of oil of a choice. Mix it together and you just want to massage the dough like that. Get a plastic wrap or a Ziploc bag, you put your dough inside of that. Wrap it really tight and nice, just like that. And you put it aside and let it sit for at least 30 minutes. 30 minutes are your goal. Uh, 
Now, it's been 30 minutes since I've had my dough just sitting and getting ready to fry. Now, all you want to do is take that plastic wrap off. Look at that. You see how stretchy that dough is? Look at that. That is perfect. Now, you're going to make your dumplings. I have my oil there, my oil is nice and hot. If it's over 350 degrees, you're gonna have a bun up, bun up dump. These dumplings should take about 10 minutes total on medium heat though. Make sure your fire is on medium heat five minutes on one side five minutes on the other side keep an eye upon it because if you walk off and left your dumpling on the fire and burn up your dumpling don't blame me All done. We're gonna have this with ackee and saltfish, roast bread fruit. Yeah, let's get this fun up plate. Now that you have accomplished making your fried dumpling for the very first time, fast, easy and simple, yet perfect, yes, a sort of thing for God. Make sure to subscribe, like and share this video with friends and family. Don't forget to turn on your notification settings so you will be reminded always when I upload a new video. Alright goodies? Yes. Thanks for watching, and as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy! I'm gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time for eat. So, see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation. Full coverage, you know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.